Hello friends, welcome to Environmental Science. Under Unit 1, Natural Resources, Energy Resources. In this video, we are going to see about oil, coal, hydroelectric power, solar energy, biomass energy, biogas energy, wind energy, tidal energy, geothermal energy, nuclear energy and energy conservation. Energy Resources. Energy is found on our planet in a variety of forms. Among them, the coal, oil, gas and water contribute the main sources of energy in India. Growing energy needs. Energy is closely linked to man's economic growth and development. Here, the consumption of coal is 56%, crude oil is 32%, natural gas is about 6%, Hydroelectricity is 4%, nuclear energy is 1%, and moreover, a large amount of traditional energy sources in the form of fuel, wood, agricultural waste, and animal waste are also used for energy. The next one, non-renewable energy sources. Here, the fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas are the non-renewable energy sources. Oil and its environmental impacts. The process of oil and natural gas drilling, processing, transport and utilization have a serious environmental consequences such as leaks. Here, the leakage of oil and natural gas uh, is responsible for the air and water pollution. And um, moreover, during the refining of oil, uh, solid waste such as salts and grease are produced which also damage the environment. The oil-powered vehicles emit carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxide, carbon monoxide and particulate matter, uh, which is a major cause for uh, air pollution. And uh, now we can see uh, De Delhi, the capital of our country, which is uh, facing uh, a serious smog problem, that is air pollution problem, due to the increasing uh, traffic uh, every day. Uh, hence, as per the Supreme Court uh, order, a large number of vehicles in Delhi are changing to the compressed natural gas fitting in their uh, vehicles. So, the compressed natural gas uh, contains 90% of methane. So, here the methane uh, emits or uh, releases uh, less amount of greenhouse uh, gases so that the environment is uh, less polluted. Hence, as per the Supreme Court order, uh, the more vehicles are uh, compelled to change to the usage of compressed natural gas. Coal and its environmental impacts. A coal is the world's large single largest contributor of uh, greenhouse uh, gases and hence the coal is uh, one of the most important causes of global warming. Uh, here burning of coal also produces the oxides of uh, sulfur and uh, nitrogen uh, and these uh, oxides of sulfur and nitrogen, when combined with the water vapor during a rainy season, it leads to acid rain. The acid rain, acid rain kills forest vegetation and fishes and other aquatic organisms, and they also pollutes water and affects human health. So organisms, whether uh, plants or animals, uh, the flora and fauna, which consumes the Acidified uh, water will be affected due to the acid uh, present in the water. And uh, moreover, uh, an important uh, factor here we have to note is it also, the acid rain also damages the architectural heritage sites and uh, sculptures in our country and all over the world. Here we can see um, the Taj Mahal as a well known example. The very shiny uh, structure of uh, Taj Mahal is now losing its uh, shining due to the air pollution and uh, acid rain uh, in that area. And the thermal power stations which use uh, coal uh, produce waste in the form of fly ash. So the fly ash uh, in the air causes air pollution and moreover it affects the human lungs. And now, renewable energy sources. The resources that are constantly replaced by nature by itself 
and are usually causing less pollution or known as renewable energy sources. Uh, example, examples are the hydropower energy, the solar energy, wind energy and geothermal energy and etc. which we are going to see in, in this video. Now hydroelectric power. Hydroelectric power is produced by constructing dams across uh, the rivers. Um, here hydroelectric power plants use the turbines to produce electricity. Here the turbines are the structures which will have a shaft uh, fitted with a blade and uh, attached to a generator. When the large amount of water forcibly hits the blade, the blade rotates the generator to produce electricity. Then the ecological problems of hydroelectric power. Um, here the large areas of forest and agricultural lands are uh, submerged for the construction of dams. And moreover, the important point here is to note that the displacement of local and tribal people and also the farmers from their native place, native place uh, which also affects their livelihood is a serious problem of constructing dams. And now solar energy. Solar energy is used for heating water and solar heating for homes. So in cold regions and hilly areas, uh, the solar heating system is uh, set up uh, in homes to produce a uh, yeah, heat uh, atmosphere inside the homes. And solar cooker used for cooking purpose and solar powered devices and solar powered vehicles now which are uh, increasingly becoming famous in our uh, country and also uh, to generate electricity. Photovoltaic energy. Here, the solar uh, photovoltaic cells uh, directly produce electricity from the sunlight. The photovoltaic cells require uh, only a little amount of uh, maintenance and have uh, no moving parts, and uh, they cause uh, very less or no environmental impact. Next, biomass energy. When a, when a log or wood is burned, uh, we are using the biomass energy. So log and wood contains the biomass energy. Here, plants and trees uh, depends on sunlight to grow. So they are getting the sunlight and using the sunlight, plants and trees are growing. Uh, hence, the biomass energy is a form of stored solar energy. And although the wood is the largest source of uh, biomass energy, we are also uh, using the agricultural waste sugarcane waste and other farm byproducts to make the energy. Biomass energy is used by the following three ways. They are uh, biomass energy can be burned to produce heat and electricity is one method and another one uh, it can be changed to a gas like fuel such as methane and used for uh, burning and uh, it can also be changed to a liquid fuel uh, called as biofuel to produce energy. The organic municipal solid waste like paper, food waste and other organic non-fossil fuel derivative materials such as the textiles, natural rubber and leather that are often found in the waste of urban areas can also be converted into electricity by uh, the combustion boilers and also by steam turbines. Biogas. Biogas is produced from a plant material and animal waste, then garbage, waste from households and some types of industrial wastes. Biogas is a mixture of gases which includes methane, carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulphide and water vapor. Biogas are popular in the rural sectors of India and these biogas plants are using the cow dung uh, which is converted into a gas and uh, is used as a fuel all over the country. Next one, uh, wind energy. Here, India is the fourth largest wind energy producer in the world. Then, the blades of the windmill are rotated by the action of wind with the help of a connected rotor and a generator. When the blades of, blades of the windmill are rotated, electricity is produced. And 
the environmental impacts of windmills are the birds are killed so birds when um, they fly through the windmill they are uh, attacked or uh, hit by the blades and are uh, killed and moreover the windmills uh, always produce noise pollution in that area uh, tidal and uh, wave power here barrage barrages are the artificial barriers which are constructed in the sea across the tides or waves when uh, these tides or waves enter into the barrage the, they rotate the turbine inside the barrage uh, and the electri electricity is generated here the environmental uh, problem is uh, not more hence it is uh, considered uh, as an environmentally uh, friendly method next geothermal energy the energy or heat which is stored within the earth is called geothermal energy with the help of uh, modern technology uh, wells are drilled deep uh, into or deep below the surface of the earth to tap into geothermal reservoirs and a steady stream of hot water is pumped to the earth's surface and this uh, a stream uh, rotates a turbine uh, connected to a generator and electricity is produced so this geothermal energy is also eco-friendly and does not cause um, more pollution and nuclear power here yeah, the nuclear reactors use the uranium-235 to produce electricity the heat energy produced in the nuclear reaction is used to heat water and produce steam the steam drives the turbines and the turbines are used to produce electricity so the disposal of nuclear waste causes environmental problems which are um, very serious and hence uh, nuclear waste have to be disposed very cautiously and finally energy conservation india needs to uh, rapidly move into a policy to reduce the energy needs of the country and use a cleaner energy production technology it is very important to use a cleaner energy production technology and a shift to alternate energy use and a renewable energy sources that are used judiciously and equitably by the people would bring about the environmentally friendly and sustainable lifestyles so far in this video under natural resources and energy resources we have seen the oil coal and hydroelectric power solar energy biomass energy and biogas energy wind energy and tidal energy geothermal energy nuclear energy and also the energy conservation thank you